2015 is the International Year of Light. And a lovely way of looking at light and what light does when it hits reflective surfaces is to build a kaleidoscope like this one. Our kaleidoscope is made using materials that you can get really easy and cheaply from the high street. The first thing I need is a, a piece of A4 card and we're going to take a piece of tape that is just slightly longer than the short edge and we'll stick this on the top of the card like that making sure we don't stick it to the table and then we turn the card over so we have the sticky edge at the top we're going to roll the card up to create a tube, a cylinder of about four centimeters in diameter that's four centimeters across the circle and as I roll it up it'll stick at the top and I can fold the tape in to secure the cylinder. Spot on. To make a kaleidoscope we need to put in a equilateral triangle of mirrors. The triangle fits nicely inside the cylinder. A cylinder has diameter of four centimeters so to work out the side length of the triangle we need to multiply half the diameter, that's two, by the square root of three and that will give us a nice triangle that fits neatly inside the cylinder. We've got 3.46 but I'm going to go with 3.4 because it's better for it to be a little bit too small than it be too big and it won't fit inside the cylinder. We picked up a piece of mirrored card from a stationer. Glass would give us an be optically better mirror but of course the mirrored card it's cheaper, it's safer and it'll do a good job. I'm going to take my measurement of 3.4 centimetres, measure three times along the top, 3.4, 6.8 and 10.2. I'm going to do the same along the bottom. I'm going to draw the three lines with a pencil and I'll score two and I'll cut the third. So now your mirrored card should look like this. If you take a, a piece of sellotape and you put it along one of the ends and you fold the triangle together seal it down you will end up with your equilateral triangle you can use a pair of scissors just to snip off the pieces of cell tape that you don't need this should fit nicely inside your paper tube it'll work as it is but I like to add a bit of sparkly to mine and take a sandwich bag and put it over the top and then snip up some small bits of sweet wrappers, put them on top of there, add a second sandwich bag, secure it with elastic band, and we end up with something that looks like this. So here's your finished kaleidoscope. You just need to point it at the light source, look through, and as you turn it, you can see patterns formed by the sweet wrappers on the mirrors.